Today I'm going to show you how to install the Fortigate 60E or 61E into the RM-FR-T10 from Rackmount IT. So you will need the Fortinet appliance with power cord, a screwdriver, and of course the Rackmount kit. So let's open the box and see what's inside. Included in the kit is the 19-inch Fortigate Rackmount kit, 11 Cat6 cables, 3 zip ties, two screws, front port labels, and installation instructions. So we have the FortiGate appliance here. And what we want to do is place the appliance in the left-hand side of the rack with the connections facing towards the back. You then want to flip the rack over, holding the appliance in place. Use the two screws provided to secure the appliance to the rack. Once all the screws are tight, the appliance should be secured. Next, we are going to install the battery using the zip ties provided with the rack mount kit. Place two of the zip ties through the holes on the rack. Next, you will place the power supply over the zip ties. Then tighten the zip ties over the power supply. Make sure to tighten as much as possible. Then trim the remaining zip tie. Place the zip tie through the two holes on the rack. Next, you want to plug the power cord into the back of the FortiGate appliance. Wind up the excess cord and place it on top of the zip ties. Tighten the zip ties as much as possible. Trim the excess zip tie. Now we are ready to connect the cables. Start by plugging into the far right coupler on the rack. Connect the other end of the cable to the first port next to the power cord on the appliance. Plug in the remaining cables sequentially. You are now done installing the appliance on the rack mount kit. Double check to ensure all pieces are secured. Now we are ready to place the front port stickers on the front of the rack above the couplers. You can also go ahead and plug in the power supply. Now we are ready to install the rack into a server cabinet. If you have any questions about Rackmount IT products, visit us on the web at www.rackmount.it.